I recently recovered from a horrible cold that began during the Thanksgiving holiday, and I wanted to find out the best way to prevent those common illnesses, which I learned are mostly common sense. Most people look forward to the holiday season, but we often forget what that season can bring. Lots of strange weather and sickness, which can lead to doctor and hospital visits. Fox 29 News spoke with Dr. Romero to learn more about holiday sicknesses and the best way to prevent getting sick in the first place. The common cold and the influenza are one of the most common upper respiratory infections caused by viruses. Dr. Romero told Fox 29 News that since the winter season began, he's seen more and more people complaining of having a runny nose, stuffy noses, congestion, low-grade fever, and even sore throats. He then spoke of ways to prevent those conditions. One of the, the best ways to prevent these infections, and particularly the influenza, is by getting the, the influenza vaccine or the flu shot. People think they're going to get sick with the, once they get the vaccination. The real thing is that the vaccine is made with dead viruses, and there's no way that you actually can get sick from it. That, and that's the best way to prevent the complications from getting the flu. Most of the patients that come to my office for consultation, they come with common cold. There are over 200 viruses that can cause a cold. The difference between the flu and cold are their severity. Those who are over 60 years in age, pregnant or infants, are at a higher risk of getting the flu symptoms. Washing your hands thoroughly and frequently is one of the best ways to prevent the transmission of these conditions. As he mentioned, the old advice of washing your hands well and frequently are still very relevant. Guys and gals, remember to wash your hands. Know that by not doing so, it's much easier to pass on germs and viruses to those who are more likely to have complications from influenza. Of course, rest, healthy diet, and exercise always can help in prevention. We can easily overlook those small details. Raylan Jenkins for Fox 29 News.